Hello guys, here's the next Godot 3D tutorial in which I show you how to import 3D models with textures. I have a simple empty scene here with a camera and a directional light, like the one I created in the previous tutorial for setting up a 3D scene. And the preview looks like this. I created a stone pillar model with Blender, exported it as OBJ and also the textures, a diffuse and a normal map. So let's start with the textures and drag them right into the Godot resources. Ready and now the same for the obj file. And perhaps you wonder why this obj is now imported as a scene. I can drag it into my current scene, but when I want to open it, I'm asked if I want to inherit a new scene or open it read only. And I open it and here you can see that there is a scene root imported and the mesh instance as a child. This is a new feature for Godot and the obj import to be able to export whole 3D scenes as obj and import them into Godot. But if you just want to import the mesh, you can select the import tab and instead of importing the scene, you choose obj as mesh. Now the obj is converted to a mesh that we can drag into our current scene as mesh instance. Ok, now I move it to the zero position, rotate it a bit and then I adjust the camera. And this looks quite nice, but we need a material to be able to add textures to the model. But this is also very simple. Open the material drop down and select the new spatial material. Then select edit and there are many properties that we can change now, but let's concentrate on adding the textures. I open albedo first and add the diffuse texture to the texture slot. Okay, for the metallic section, I set the metallic value to zero and the specular value to zero as well. This is because a stone material is not metallic. Then let's come to the roughness and increase this value. And this already looks good, but we still have a normal map to add, so let's enable it and drag it to the normal texture slot. And we're done. If you like, you can go ahead and play around with the angle of the directional light now. And once you're happy with it, you can press the play button and start the game. Alright, looks quite decent. Guys, I hope you liked these Godot tutorials. In the next one, I will show you how to export a full Blender scene as Collator file and import it again into the Godot engine. If you like this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next video. Thanks for watching this and see you soon.